Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Wyatt. I'm a general dentist, but I'm board certified in the American Orthodox Society, and this is a group of dentists uh, that are dedicated to teaching orthodontics to general and pediatric dentists. We're going to go into some rather short videos here of different aspects of orthodontics. I want to try to show you how to make omegas that we use on arch wires uh, and I use them most of the time in uh, doing our orthodontic work. We uh, I'm going to just start out with an arch wire. You'll have to go with just to forget about this omega that's in here already. This is one that's already built so we make a wax pattern and we put this on the wax pattern and mark where we want these omegas to be formed and uh, so I'm going to go through this and show you how we make these uh, this is an omega forming plier just the end of it where we put an arch wire through here and we take this and press down on it and it'll bend the arch wire something like that First, we mark the place on the wire that we're going to have the mesial, say, of the omega, and we put it in the plier like that and bend it, and it will pull this in like that. You put that over on the edge of it, and as you bend this in, it'll pull this into here, and that will be the mesial a part of the omega in the wire. So, let me go into the Next deal, the plier looks something like that from the side. Now, when you open it up, and that's where we lay the wire in this portion. And then when I close this down, it'll bend the, bend the arch wire inside like this. Come out the other side. Then this portion of it allows us to put a slope to the omega if you try to bend these by hand there you can do them but they're a lot more difficult to do so we'll show you as we go here now here's the plier again looking at just the the business end of it you see so here's where you bend the loop here this is where you take the loop it's out like that and then you crimp it and it's going to end up with a bevel to it, not quite that that's much on each, each end. So here we just show it to you again, the way it's in your hand. Now actually, you're going to have to grip it and press, press it forward in there. All right, this, these wires are wires that have torque in them, so just ignore this for a minute. Now, you mark the omega where you want it. You put a little red uh, mark on the arch wire, and you set this right up against the mesial. That's going to be the mesial part of your omega. And say the arch wire will be going around like that, and you'll put an omega here, and then you'll come over on this side and do the same thing. Then you come in and crimp it so it's the omega will be leaning in that fashion. Just, you have to watch this to see how it goes. All right, here we stick the wire in there. We've got the mark. It was out here, and as you crimp it, this mark will be on the mesial part of the omega. Uh, we go through, through this, and uh, the next one, it's already bent in here. And the mark that came from out here went into there. So this ends up being the mesial part of that omega. Now we go take it out of there. Now we're going to put it in this portion right over here and have it going that way. So the plow will be turned sideways from what it is right now. So we're turning it around 
and you're going to lay the wire in this portion right here with the omega sticking out here like that. It may be a little confusing to see that, but all right, there it is. We put the wire in here, got the omega coming down, coming out here, and now we're going to close this together. And this slope in this side, see it's cut out right there, and then it's a slope over on this side. Now, as you squeeze this together, your omega is going to take a turn kind of like this, except it'll be squeezed together pretty close at the, the base. So we close that together, and there it starts going. You'll see this will bend this over, and this, will, this is free right here. See, it's cut down in there. As we do that, this thing will fit into that spot right there. Now there's your um, mark that's on the wire. We close it here, and now the Omega has a forward tilt like that. This is going to be the distal end of your arch wire. This will go around to the other side, and you'll have an Omega on the same, same way on the other side of the mouth. There is the omega is formed and it's arch wires in the same plane across here. This is a neat little omega and you're going to push back on this. See this will be the molar tube right here and you push back to close space or tie the arch wire back but put a tie back on this omega around the back of the arch wire the molar tooth back there now there's the omega we put a bend in it to put it off to the side of the arch wire so you rotate it out you take it grab it right here and bend this part this is going to be the part that goes around and now we're going to catch it here and bend it back like that so that the omega will be standing out away from the bicuspid teeth slightly. Now you catch it out. You've taken the omega up here. You bent this part out, and now it's going around like that. Now we're going to catch it over here and bend this back in line. Now we grab it with a plier here and bend it back and the arch wire will be going that way. These are, there's a lot to bending arch wire in orthodontics. And a lot of people try to do it without doing any bending, but to do it properly, you gotta learn how to bend the wire. Now we catch it and bend the wire back, straighten it out, it's gonna come around. So this omega will be setting it here and up and then come over and then come back in the, that fashion there. Now it's bent in. The, the omega is totally to the outside. Makes a bend, comes across here, and then you know, now this will be where your bicuspid bracket see will be fitting in there. This will go into the molar tube. Usually the molar is thicker and so it needs a little bit of molar offset, see, and that'll allow you to slide this omega right past the bicuspid brackets and go it in place. Okay, there we come in. If you want to roll this omega out, maybe it's poking the tissue up there, so we roll them out frequently. So you grab the arch wire here to keep from torquing that. You come over to Omega and roll it out this way. In other words, it'll be sitting out to the side a little and coming coming back into the arch wire. And then you take the torque out that you put in there. Now we rolled it out. And now we catch it on the other side and flatten this back out so that the torque in this part of the arch wire and this part is the same if that's what you want. 
Now you may want to have buckle root torque. You can add it here or you can add torque to this other portion of the arch wire if you need to. Uh, it's, this is not as simple as it uh, looks to some people. All right, we've torqued it. We've rolled the omega out and we've taken the torque out of it. And you've got a arch wire now that has the omega. You see, it'll be setting out to the side as it comes around on the arch wire. Now, there is no torque in this arch wire. I don't have it. If I wanted to put it in there, I would put torque out here and torque here. You can torque these to in or out to bring the roots in or out of the crown and the omega is kind of leaned out to the side so it doesn't poke the gum on the person and you can get to it easier and we'll cut this off and slide this in the in the patient's mouth you see and there it is set on a type of dot and the omegas will be kind of out to the buckle some and that'll allow us to hook this and tie this arch wire back real tight. We can close space or whatever you want to do. Or you don't allow the arch wire to kind of rotate or, or slide around in the arch so that the, the part out here would go out to the side if you did, if you let it slip in the arch. So we, uh, let me go back here and raise that. So this is how you do an omega in a dental arch wire where you're doing orthodontics and you want to be able to tie it back. If you're not used to using them, you may, this may be totally confused, confusing to you. But if you go back and look at these cases that we've done, we use omegas almost all, all of our arch wires. So I'll finish this one up. It's 18. It's about 12 minutes long. That's longer than most of them like to sit and listen to these. So I'm going to stop it.